Hey, I've turned swing. Level one. Important lessons from the day? Dance on your balls. Right here. Remember? Not on your heels or your arch, but on the balls of your feet. <laughs> it's funny to say balls. Okay, so we worked on swing out today. Uh, we did it like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a swing out to a circle. And then we put a little break in between them. We put points in there. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Up points, up points. Uh, hey, 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 ah, 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 um, ah, ah, um, um, ah, ah. We also put low downs in there. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, a three, four, a five, a six, a seven, and eight. One. Ah, 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 um, ah, ah, ah. Then we did swing out from open to open. So what that was, say we start here, for example. We swing it out. We get to the end of this row. I move my whole body, and if we're already swinging out, Stacia might not rock step, she might just take two steps. And if I pull a lot, she moves a lot, and if I pull a little, she moves a little. That's it. She comes with me. One, two, three, and I just swing her right back out. We set that on repeat, and that's your swing out. That's the basic. It takes a lot of practice. You guys got to get used to it, but she did a really good job with it. If there's a good time with the music, I can stop, and I can do the points. Hey, she can do it with me if she wants. Or she could do something else, that works fine too. Cool. Um, some reminders, leaders, we had this solo practice where we went one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and four, five, six, seven, eight. I practiced the shape, and then when I kiss my partner, there's gonna be different feelings, but I gotta try to make the same shape happen. Together, the follower is one the shape changes, but the momentum kind of stays the same. So she might get a rock step. One, two, three, and four. We're still that passing you the triple step, but also rotating. Happens at the same time so I can catch your back followers. So when we do that, she thinks she's going that way, but I, the leader, turn her around. And that's the kind of teamwork we need to find. So I'm working on the shape, she's working on that momentum. I'm changing her momentum. I'm sorry, I'm changing her shape. She's giving me momentum in that shape. So we kind of combine together to make the thing happen. So those are good solo practice things you can do. A couple general ideas we had. When we are starting from zero, we might start with a rock step. And sometimes we might start with a little stomp off. Five, six, seven, five, five, rock step. That rock step gives us a little stretch and gives us some connection and feeling to go to the next thing. Once we're in the middle of the dance, we might not have to rock step every time. If we're already at the end of the row, like we are at the end of the swing up, she doesn't get the rock step. The leader does, because they're always kicking off the next move. I kick it off with that rock step. I take my whole body with that rock step. But the followers might not. Oh, might change a little bit. You guys did an awesome job. We're going to see you at the field trip. <laughs>